this lab, what we did is we just fired the ball into the pendulum, and the pendulum went up, as you can see, right? What we're trying to find is we are trying to find how much the center of mass was lifted. Do you see that the center of mass is here initially? Now the center of mass is somewhere here, correct? We're trying to find this height. We're trying to find that height using the angle. So that's the height. The length of the pendulum is L, which is the same here. You can see that is the length of the pendulum, isn't it? To the center of the mass. And this is also the length of the pendulum. So you see a right angle triangle there, don't you? See a little right angle triangle there. This is the angle that you measured. I know it's not so clear, but that, isn't that the angle that you measured? So you got your average angle. From that angle, we're going to calculate the height. OK, I'm going to tell you how. From that right angle triangle, can you tell me what cos theta is? That is theta. So what is cos theta? L plus h. Cos theta is going to be adjacent side. Isn't this the adjacent side? Over L. Over the, yeah, over the length. But this adjacent side is L, L minus H. Okay, so L minus H, okay, in triangle A, B, C, if you can see it, cos theta is L minus H by L. So rearrange that. L cos theta is L minus H. We're trying to find height. We got it. So that's the equation for height. Stop. That's the equation for height. From your theta, you're going to find height, because you already know the length. Yeah. Is that clear enough? All right, the next concept is that we are applying the conservation of momentum. Don't be in a hurry to write, because I'm going to leave it there. Uh, what's the initial momentum? The initial momentum of this, you know? Zero. The initial momentum of the pendulum is zero, right? But even before we apply that, Let's go back to this. Listen carefully now. This pendulum is just hanging there. It has no energy in it. When you fire that steel ball, it has kinetic energy, doesn't it? Yeah. And then it gets stuck here. Together, both of them begin to have potential energy. OK, one more time. So the kinetic energy of the ball becomes equal to the total potential energy of the ball and the pendulum. Is that clear? OK. So. The kinetic energy with which they begin rising up. Now, see, I was in a hurry there. This is the common velocity. That's the velocity with which both of them together begin the upward journey. That's why there is some confusion for some students. What's that? Do you know that number now? No, that's the common velocity with which the ball and the pendulum begin their journey upwards. So that is the kinetic energy that they have in the beginning. But that is going to become potential energy, which is sum of their masses times GH. Mass gets canceled, so you can find the common velocity using that formula. Because you got the height. Didn't you get the height from here? So put that in there. You find the common velocity with which both of them begin moving. Isn't it? OK. Now the last part, apply the conservation of momentum. That is the momentum of the ball, mass of the ball times velocity of the ball, which we are trying to find. That's the aim of this lab, to find the velocity with which that ball is fired, correct? Plus, what's the initial momentum of the pendulum? OK. Is equal to, are they together? OK. That's it. So VB is now lab done. So first you have to find the height. Use that height to find the common velocity with which they move. Use that to find the velocity of the ball. It takes five minutes. If you really understood, this is a very important lab. Because we applied conservation of energy, didn't we? And applied conservation of momentum. Thank you.